looking forward to getting to know the people who call the Graduate Center home. You know, it's the students who are the heart of, of the university and its mission, uh, the faculty and staff who've shaped the Graduate Center into a really great institution, and the community as a whole who've shown such creativity and resilience in recent months. Uh, there's so much to be proud of and so many exciting opportunities to embrace. I, I can't wait to get started. So people sometimes ask me why I'm so passionate about diversity and inclusion. I think some, part of it stems from my own experience. Uh, I was in high school and I worked at a department store and I wasn't offered a higher paying job on the loading dock because they told me that women can't do that job. So I, I complained and, and they did offer me the job. I'm just so impressed by the, you know, the talent and potential and I want to ensure that everyone has access to the opportunities that uh, public higher education and particularly graduate education afford. I've also worked hard on um, understanding the challenges that students face uh, in graduate education uh, and taking steps to ensure that the climate is supportive, that students have access to the resources that they need and that their experience really supports inclusive success. You know, there's been a shift in people's perception. You know, what is the value of public higher education? Is it a public good that serves everyone? Or is it a private benefit just to individuals? And it's this swing of the pendulum that has led many states uh, to defund public higher ed, including universities like UCLA and the CUNY system. There are also a lot of misunderstandings about the value of graduate education. A lot of people think that everyone can and should just pay for it themselves if that's what they want to do. Because after all, they'll become well-paid doctors or lawyers. But in reality, graduate education enables students to become social workers and librarians, uh, scientists and teachers, uh, leaders of nonprofit organizations, and many more careers. So it'll be an opportunity for me to communicate that idea, to show the value of graduate education, not only through the research and the scholarship being done at the Graduate Center, but through the voices of the Graduate Center's students and alumni. So here we are in the midst of an unprecedented pandemic. Uh, it, it shook the world of higher education, and we had to pivot and change everything in an instant. That created incredible challenges for our students who needed resources to be able to continue their education, and faculty who maybe hadn't taught in a remote environment before, and researchers who couldn't continue the research in their laboratories or out in the field. At the same time, it catalyzed innovation and has changed the way we're working in ways that we may never go back to doing things the old way. I'm really excited about the opportunity to lead the Graduate Center. I'm looking forward to meeting you soon. It may not be in an elevator, but we'll meet by Zoom. And to get to know you, for you to get to know me, and for us to move forward with the great work that lies ahead for the Graduate Center. See you in New York. Mm -hmm.